Hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome to the silent fight. See, I got my little sign. Trying to become a little official out here. If you guys are out there, drop those purple hearts for my mom. You guys know how we do this every Sunday night. Drop those purple hearts if you're there. Say hello. How are you guys doing? How was your week? Usually I have my music playing, but I was kind of running behind because I just came from my brother's baby shower. Hey, hey. How are you guys doing? If you guys are out there, drop those purple hearts. I'm just waiting until we get a few more people on so that we can talk about the topic tonight. The topic will be, um, should marriage license renew? Should they expire? Should a marriage license expire just like any other license that we have to renew? If you guys are there, drop the purple heart. I don't know who's there watching but could you drop the purple hearts i'm trying to wait until we get a few more people on so that we can start this discussion hey hey So, um, I saw a meme on Facebook on last week and it said, um, should marriage license expire just like every other license expire and the couple have the option of walking away or either renewing. Hey, Miss Tammy, drop those purple hearts. Um... I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that when you get married, like, um, I want to say the business license, I think we have to renew every year or every other year. So if you get married, would you guys like the freedom of having the choice of renewing your license every year? Why or why not? Hey, Des, drop those purple hearts. Drop those purple hearts. And please share, share, share. Share, share, share. Invite people because I really want this to be a good discussion on tonight. I'm trying to get to the comments that... I had on my page when I posted it, which is what I like to do when um, I don't have a lot of people that's participating in a conversation. I kind of use that so that I can reply. Hey guys, hey Fantasia, drop those purple hearts. Let me know that you're there. <laughs> So the meme says, should marriage license expire like every state license to give folks the option to leave or renew? Um, I personally think that a marriage license should expire. Hey, Mike, drop the purple heart. When you guys tune in, drop the purple heart. I think that the marriage license should expire. I think that people... A lot of people get married, they get married for the wrong reasons. I don't think everybody thinks about what it really takes to have a successful marriage. And um, they're, just, they're just not ready for marriage. Like they get in it thinking that, 
you know, they're thinking about the ring or the wedding or um, whatever it is. Thank you for the Purple Hearts, guys. Um, whatever it is that they see, that they feel is their vision of marriage, I think that they don't really think ahead for the bad times or when you are struggling to be in love with the person that you marry. Um, people fall out of love every day. I really have a problem with somebody telling me when I can or cannot be with somebody. Like I think um, somebody has said on one of my posts that it takes $35 to get into the marriage, but it takes so many thousands of dollars to get a divorce. I think that if a lot of people know that, okay, me and my husband got married on December 1st, I think that if you know that your license is going to expire on December 1st of that next year, I think that you will work to stay in that marriage if that's what you really want. You won't just feel like, oh, well, we got married. I got him now. I don't have to put forth any effort into staying in this relationship. I think people will just or those young kids or adults that get married for the wrong reason i think that if they're able to walk away things will be a lot less messy when when they don't work out like all right well this is not working i can go ahead on about my business next year what do you guys think drop those purple hearts as you're coming in what do you guys think do you guys think that it's cool for you to have to renew your marriage license every so often um let me see if i can find what the people were saying i'm trying to see what people said about it i reposted this thing so many times If it was you, would you want to renew your license for marriage? Like I say all the time when me and my folks are talking, I always tell people that um, to me, marriage is not as important as having children. Hey, Nikki, um, drop those purple hearts. Thank you. Um, to me, to me, a marriage license is not as important as me having children by someone because I don't personally believe that all marriages are ordained by God. But I believe wholeheartedly that these children that we're having, oh, my fan is on these children. We can't deny that they're a blessing from God, even in those relationships that don't work out, um, we know that the children are a gift from God. And I think that if people take having children um, just as important as they do getting that ring or that marriage certificate, then society will be a lot better. Hey, Lance, already, hey, drop those purple hearts, guys. You know how this go, drop those purple hearts. But yeah, I think that if people knew that their marriage license would expire, I think that they will work a little harder to stay in their relationships and again for those who don't have a good uh relationship i think it will be a lot less messy if they were able to walk away um i know a lot of people who are in relationships in bad marriages not just dating they're in really bad marriages and when you ask them why are they staying in these relationships the first thing that they say is well i don't want to walk out on my marriage i don't want to walk out on my marriage so would you be walking out on your marriage if it expired i did my time it's over with i don't have to do any more especially if it didn't work out marriage is not always Marriage is not always what we think marriage is. I think a lot of people look at the glitz and glams of marriage and they don't they don't know how hard it really is to stay in a successful relationship. Some people get married just to trap people. Um, one girl said on my post the other day that uh, the bitches that's just marrying for money, once they get married, guess what? If they show their hand, then that man will have the right to just walk away.
let me see somebody said no not renew but she i married and me and my wife split she's in jail now two years i hated her she hated me after a year but we used the time to learn why we didn't like and fucked up when we split but somehow missed what we had um i've heard a lot of that as well i've heard a lot of people who have i have um a cousin he's older than me him and his wife was together since they were teenagers and when they got older like in their 40s guess what they divorced but maybe like five years after that they got back together um i think a lot of couples do that as well but i think the the marriage license having to be renewed, I think that that will give people a little more freedom. I don't want to be committed to anything that I don't want to be committed to. I'm one of those people who, if you force me to do something like a kid, I don't want to do it. I don't want to have to do it. A piece of paper is not about to keep me in a relationship. I don't really care what nobody says. I don't give a damn what the law says, what it takes to get divorced or what it takes to get married. If I'm not feeling a relationship and you don't keep me, then you don't keep me. Hold on. Let me read these comments. Your Highness says, I'm a Libra, so let me break down why I do agree and why I don't agree. I agree because, like you said, people fall in and out of love all the time and there is no need to stay in a relationship if you're just... Wait... There is no need to stay in a relationship if you're just not feeling a relationship anymore. Second, I disagree because it teaches people how to be more inconvenient as people are already in relationships. Today, I feel like people will not put as much effort into people will feel like, okay, I can do this and that. I'm not saying this person's for life, so I don't know. Somebody help me explain it more. I'm going to leave with a little break it down. Why? It's just like technology. Nobody does anything as far as moral standards or growing in wisdom anymore. So I feel like people won't take the relationship serious because they know it's, it's not long term. Now, see, Des, I, I disagree with that. I get what you're saying. You don't think that people will take it very serious. But I think that if people knew that their marriage license would um, expire, I think that they will put a lot more into their relationship. Hey, Tia, drop those purple hearts. Hey, Tasha, thanks for joining, guys. Drop those purple hearts. I really think that if people knew that their license would expire, they will put more into their relationships. And here's why I say that. Um, a lot of times when we get married is because we have, you know, we go through this honeymoon phase where everything is good and we're all in love and we're courting each other. And, you know, we, we, we're showing up with our best selves, right? So if we knew that at the end of this year, after we got married, that that person can just walk away, I think people will put forth the effort to stay in their relationships. So many people are married and they don't even date each other. They don't even like each other. I keep saying people keep getting in these fucked up situations and they don't even like each other. You may have got with this girl. Like I hear somebody keep saying, I hear this dude telling me about his woman. Why are you with this girl? Why did you marry this girl? Oh, um, she got good credit and she X, Y, and Z. I have yet to hear people say that they like the person that they're with. It's always a situation not always, but in those bad relationships, nine times out of 10, it's always a reason why somebody is staying other than the person, other than the person. So if you knew that you had to keep on going every year, because guess what? I could tell you all year long that I'm going to renew my license because we know we have to renew this license. Um, I could tell you all year long, I'm going to renew this license, but what happens when we get down there to renew this license? If we had a fucked that relationship now I'm at the courthouse, like, I don't want to do this. This is not for me. Then you're going to think back on what it is that happened throughout this time. You know what I'm saying? To make me feel like I don't want to be in this relationship. Hold on. Let me read these comments. I already said I had another child. Now I got four. We do what we want to do because you live one life. If it expires, most folks would just say fuck it when they know the expiration time is coming. So 
so what he's saying is, um, I don't know if it's he or she, I'm sorry, already, already says that people will just say fuck it if they know that the relationship is about to expire. But what about the people who say fuck it anyway, and they know that they have committed to somebody for the rest of their lives? What about those people? I think that it's just it's bad for somebody to be forced in a situation like I don't know if you guys knew once you have a marriage certificate, we both signed this certificate. This is a legal binding contract, right? So if I told my husband, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. I want to get a divorce. My husband can say that he doesn't want to, to let me go. And then what? You have some assholes that's out there that will refuse to sign the divorce papers. We've seen it on TV time and time again. I've seen it in person with people that I know personally. They are married to some assholes and them people won't free you. Like if you know you're not treating me right or even if you are treating me right and I'm not happy. Why not just let me go on about my life and, and, and go. Who wants to be with somebody who's not that doesn't want to be with you? I don't give a fuck if we got kids, if we got a house, if we got whatever we got, whatever we got. Like, I feel like I should be able to be divorced without your permission. And then where the legal system comes in at, in my opinion, is when you have people that are invested in the businesses or the homes, you know, uh, custody of the kids, then that without a doubt, I feel like we should have to go to court with that if we can't come to some um, mutual agreement. But as far as you freeing me so that I can move on with my life, I think that's fucked up that somebody has the power over you to say that they're not going to free you. You could have been whooping my ass for the whole 10 years that we was together. And now when I go file for divorce, if I don't have proof that I was being um, abused, they're not going to grant my divorce. If you're showing up at every court date and you're telling me that you don't want to divorce me legally, they can't divorce you. If your spouse says they don't want to let you go. And I don't know if a lot of people know that you get all excited about the wedding and all the shit that you could tell your friends and you know, uh, the ring that the man gives you, but you don't know that your ass is really Sorry, y'all. My reception was bad for some reason. Um, Your Highness said, I'm the type I won't take it serious because I will be with some men for fun and control and control I would always have in the back of my head if he starts tripping or if I get caught doing something, I can leave. No worries. And you have people who do messed up stuff like that. But I'm working on myself. Don't judge me, y'all. Okay, Des, you saying that you might you might play games with somebody, right? But so, so what happens if you marry him? And again, you, you can't get out of the relationship if he doesn't want you. So he can't get out of a relationship and you there playing games. Is that fair to him? That's what I'm saying. How is that fair to him? You went in the situation with bad intents because you know that you have the power to get out. So how is that fair to him that he can't walk away and you're mistreating him? That's why I'm for these licenses having to be renewed. Hey, y'all, when y'all coming in, drop those purple hearts for my mom, please, please, please. I appreciate it. We always have to keep Francine in mind when we're doing this podcast. She is my everything. She was my everything. Please drop those purple hearts. Already said nobody will ever let you know what's in their mind because they will use marriage to gain something. Absolutely. Yes, they can refuse, but you can get free. It's not hard. Just lie. I, explain a little bit already. What do you mean that you could get free if you just lie? Like lie about what? Because if you go in and say that your spouse cheated on you, because I know the infidelity and abuse is grounds for a, um, a divorce approval. Um, but you will have to get proof. So in this case, we're talking about either you and somebody setting this man up or this woman up, or you're uh, getting into some type of domestic situation so that you can get out on some setup shit. You said just lie. So what do you mean by lying? And people do use marriage as game. Of course, that's why I say a lot of people, I don't care what they say, just because they sat there and took those vows before God, they don't believe in anything that they're saying 
or they once believed and then later on in life, they don't. You let them have the power. You make proof. So that can't, that's, that sound like some setup shit. If you saying make the proof, cause the only thing that I could see is that you're like probably picking a fight or you going to set them up. But what if we just not happy in this relationship? Why does it have to be, um, a bad situation? You know what I'm saying? What if we tried it? It didn't work and we can move on with our life without any bullshit. Um, your highness says it's not fair, but we would have had to be born knowing this. I feel like now how the world is messed up. Who cares if they get hurt? Absolutely. We talk about that all the time. Des. People have, they, they don't have respect for anything. They don't respect shit. That's why they shooting up schools. They shooting up churches. Um, I walk around all the time and I hear people disrespecting their elders, disrespecting their moms. Um, when my mom was alive, y'all would never see me cursing on this podcast. Never, 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 never. Because I knew that she would be tuned in. I don't cur I didn't curse around my mother. Um I don't curse around anybody that's my elders. And if I'm in a situation where I'm just flowing and talking to my equals and I see somebody, they could just be walking past me. I will immediately stop and apologize. I am so sorry. People don't value anything these days. And I think that's another reason, again, why this license thing should be rethought because a lot of people don't really care. I think that it should take a lot more to get married other than us just going down to the fucking courthouse and signing these marriage license. I think they need to have psych evaluations. I think that we need to have um, counseling sessions. All of this stuff, I think it needs to be signed off on. Just like if you have surgery or if you have, a, um, like we need a referral to go to the doctor. I think we need to get some type of referral in order to get married from somebody of authority a, a doctor psychiatrist a counselor a minister or somebody needs to evaluate this relationship before we able to get married hey Juan thanks for tuning in drop those purple hearts I already said but I'll do shit to make her hate me so I can get it basically absolutely a lot of people do that but again if you're able to, because look, a lot of times when people, they divorce, it could be a situation where they just acting in their emotions at this time. You get what I'm saying? So what if, like I said, my cousins earlier, they got divorced, but they found out later in life that they really wanted to be together. So what happens if you make your wife hate you and then... Later on in life, you want to be with her. Now you didn't get to that point in no return and you can't go back to her. Now what? But what if, what if that marriage license expired and you was like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead on about our separate ways. We're still cool. We still friends or whatever. And then maybe later on, we could pick back up where we left off. Ain't no bad blood. That's what I like about that. In most situations, I like when things are very easy for me. The same thing, like if, Again, like a business license, because marriage is a business agreement at the end of the day, in my opinion. That's how most people look at it. I already said, because I never seen nobody sit down and tell their spouse, this ain't it. And we going to write down, write down this and walk away peacefully. We are all too prideful for that. Um... I've seen people walk away peacefully. He's saying that he hasn't seen anybody sit down and talk about it peacefully uh, as far as them breaking up. I, I, I don't believe in breaking up either. So let me just say that. So in that case, that might be right for me. Um, but in my relationship, I'll let you know how I'm feeling. I'll let you know if it's not working for me. Now, if you're not paying attention to what I got going on, you're not listening to what I'm telling you because I'm going to clearly tell you that I'm not happy. And if you're not putting forth that effort to make me happy, then I'm going to exit stage to the left. Like I'm not standing shit that's not good for me. That's not making me happy. Too many people are committed to these fucked up relationships and they're not happy. And every time I encounter somebody that's in a bad relationship, I always ask them why. 
especially when it gets to the point where it's abusive and it's disrespectful. This man is going out sleeping with whoever they want to sleep with. Um, she's out sleeping. Like, what's the point? What's the point? I already think you should have been together a certain amount of time and gained stability to be considered to be married already. I agree. I agree. I think there should be a certain time limit and um, a minimal amount of time that you should have been together before the law approves your marriage. I agree with that too. A lot of people get married in the first couple years. You don't even like this person. You don't even know what the fuck they want to eat for dinner. You don't not, you don't know what triggers them. You half of y'all don't even know who the hell they grandparents is. Don't know their blood type, but you laid up talking about you want to get married. I think those things should be required before you sign that marriage certificate. Well, now, when you say it that way, it sounds good, but to walk away, but every girl don't leave. Absolutely. Every girl don't leave just like every man don't leave. Um, Like I told you guys before in an earlier uh, podcast, when I first got this started, um, I don't do that domestic violence shit. And I'm going to tell you why I don't do that breakup shit is because one time when I tried to break up with somebody, he choked me. He choked the shit out of me. Like, I'm not about to tell you that I don't want to be with you. You know you fucked up. That's on you. And I'm not thinking it to be malicious because I'm the type of person that if I could sit down and talk to you about it, I absolutely will. I don't want bad blood with any of a relationship that I had, whether it's intimate, um, child, father, um, old friends, old co. I don't like to leave bad blood with people just because I know how life is and I know that at some point we're going to encounter each other again um i got a cousin who when a dude killed her they found in her fucking coat pocket her divorce letter you know what i'm saying don't nobody know if he found that divorce letter or not so those are two of the main reasons that i don't believe in that breakup shit you know you fucked up I'm going to talk to you just like I sit on here and talk to y'all. This is how much I talk in my relationship. Me and my husband do not just coexist. You understand? We sit around, run our mouth just like I talk to y'all, just like I talk to my homegirl. I t imagine how much I talk to my husband and I lay next to this man every night. A lot of people don't communicate and they don't understand the person that they're with. I already said, I hey, Tati, drop the purple heart, babe. Um, I already said I'm married still with her, but I love her, but I left to find happiness. And now I feel unhappy. I see my true happiness was with my wife. Shit just crazy. Yeah, it be like that. That's what I'm saying. So you left her, but you said you guys are still legally married, right? Um, I saw a post earlier. Uh, somebody had asked me, I said, I saw a post. I'm sorry. Somebody had asked, um, for advice for her relationship she said that her husband she knows that her husband is cheating on her and now she's pregnant with her baby and he's out doing him but she just wants advice to see if she should go ahead and walk away from the relationship and he told her he don't want to get a divorce because he knows he's going to eventually come back to her later on that's bullshit those are the type of games that I'm not willing to play with anybody and I don't understand why y'all feel like that you should allow somebody to play with you. If I can't tell you anything, listen to me when I tell y'all. Life is too fucking short to be playing. You get more money. You get more clothes. You get more food. You get more everything. But you never get your time back. You never get your time back. So I am very sensitive about my time. When shit go bad, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I don't want to work shit out because for me, I know that I'm loyal to a fault. I know that for me and my life, I'm not committed to anything that I don't want to be committed to. So if you get me to the point that I no longer want to be loyal to you, I don't want to deal with this shit no more. You're not making me happy. I need to just leave. And I want to have that freedom to just leave already but i don't want the marriage life i just want to be best friends i hate husband and wife label absolutely hey stephanie drop those purple hearts i think a lot of people feel like that i think a lot of men feel like they don't want what comes with the, with a marriage but 
they want the perks of getting married. They want to have, and, and I'm a woman, so I'm speaking from a woman's point of view. I can't say it's all men. I'm just saying that a lot of men want to have their woman at home. They want to have her at home dealing with the kids, cooking the food so that he knows that he has somebody at home while he's out here playing these games. He knows he's got her at home waiting for him. Um, I think a lot of relationships, I know that I've been in relationships before where me and the dude that I've dealt with, we could be best of friends outside of the relationship. But that's because I don't give a fuck. I don't care what you're doing when you're not my man. It's not. I'm trying to ask Stephanie here, y'all. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. How you doing? Good, good, good. I just want to speak on it because I know I'm not married, but I just want to speak on the fact that I've been in a relationship for 15 years. Hold on. I'm trying to watch this load. Hold on. Finish. Hold okay. On. Go ahead. Go ahead. So um, what I was saying was a lot of people are in these bullshit relationships and they're not happy. They're not happy. When we're in these relationships, I think that we need to start evaluating why we're here. Like I tell my homegirls or anybody that I talk to when they're in their relationship, the first thing that you should think about is what is going to change in my life so drastically if this person walks away, if I walk away from this person. Um, as you guys stated earlier, uh, people have homes and all kind of material shit. You know, a lot of people are in relationships that their spouse or their mate is covering 50% of their living expenses. And a lot of people don't want to leave that stability that they have. But what is the trade that they have? The trade-off is they're unhappy just to live that lifestyle. Go ahead, Steph. What you want to I say? Just want, I just want to add, just based on my experience, Okay. And a little bit nervous, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Get it out. So based on my experience, I've been with my second baby father for 15 years. Okay. Of course, throughout that 15 years, nothing was peachy and cream. Let me let me state that 100%. Okay. Prior, before him, of course, I was in other relationships in which I learned a lot about myself. But mm -hmm. now being in a relationship with this man for 15 years, I'm 37 years old right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just now learning how to be a woman, knowing myself, understanding myself, understanding mm -hmm. my, what I want and things like that. Of course, I'm just like many other women. I want the marriage too, but let right. me be real to myself. What am I still doing? Am right. I really ready for that commitment? Right. Am I ready to be that type of woman that men want me to be and right then another thing i'm just not learning about a man i'm starting to learn what it means um what they say why bad a cow when you can get the milk for free yeah I'm just not understanding that yeah okay. What's yeah the thing they say about you know what i mean i'm just starting to learn a lot of little things just being with this man right now that mm -hmm. i'm grateful that i'm not inviting so many people in my space mm -hmm. I learned myself as a woman before I do take that leap or anything mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. home. I, I want to know what I want. I want to know that I'm true to myself. Mm -hmm. And learning about a man, uh-uh. I'm not going to rush that process. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm not going to say everybody who's married right now, who got married at 30 or 35, yes, they did it. No, I'm going to say that's bullshit because you still going through the same shit. You could have just been boyfriend. Figure your shit out. Then later, you probably would have got married. Let me not get excited thinking that what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying, is that's what it is. But that's what's being portrayed right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I said, I fucking title. I I'm said, the title too, but I'm being right. 137 years old. It took me a long time to get to this motherfucking space to learn yeah. me, who I am as a woman before I can sit right. up there and learn another motherfucker. I just wanted to say that, that people need to start being true to themselves. Men, as I understand men now, come on now, they go, they go take whatever you giving out. They supposed to chase. If you ain't giving them shit to chase, 
you hoes, y'all need to be there because we need y'all when we trying to stay strong. So <laughs> big ups to y'all, straight up. I ain't right. hating no. Big ups to y'all because if y'all tell this nigga, yes, you know me and my girl right here, you know what I'm saying, we gonna put whipped cream on your balls and then we gonna blow it. He gone. Because <laughs> I ain't doing it. He fucked up. I'm not gonna do it at all. Now, when I know that I am married and then I have to be the slut bag of them all, yes, but we need y'all out there for shit like this. Exactly. That's all I want to say. I've been wanting to say something for a long time because I'm okay. tired of these posts like, oh, know your worth because you sat up there, you probably a tiny dick ass nigga that sat up there and got lucky. Like, let's be for real. You probably Come on. Let me Come on. I'm strife on the land. Like, I start fucking nah, that's, 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 that's what that it's about. Stop, stop that's acting like you bitches deserve what y'all go get because y'all put yourself out there to get what you go get. And I'm just learning this at 37 because I didn't even fucked up too when I was doing certain things too, making myself look crazy. You okay? know what? And it's so crazy because even though I was out there when I was dating um, and people would ask me to do certain things, I'm not doing that. You're not my fucking husband. Isn't I done already funny? had... Even if he was your husband, it was just based on our experience. You, you know, some of us had the conscious for mine. Damn. Yeah. Should I do this or I'm not yeah. gonna be freaky enough? He's not gonna find me spontaneous. Let me do this. That's why we. That's why women don't get along. Women supposed to be sexy, confident, and look all that you supposed to. Stop right. sitting there thinking that. You doing this, all oh, this bitch go, hey, no, we all want to feel good and sexy and the only one, and yes, he only see me. We all want the same thing. Exactly. But again, be true to your motherfucking self, because I'm being true to mass. I know what the fuck I'm still doing. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. awake. You know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. if it's this man right now, and it's later, at least I know later. No, I ain't got time for, you know, Joe Blow, you know what I'm saying? Scotty too hotty. We not going to mm -hmm. I'm not 20 no more. I'm going to be 40. What the fuck I still look like still doing the same thing out here? You clowned out if you will. Stop saying that shit. And you men, come on now. Some of you men, y'all got to fuck with little girls. Why? We grown ass women. Ain't nobody going to be around here. $40. Turn that 40 to, uh, to, to the 22 year old who is happy she got a sack and to be around your ass right now. <laughs> Ain't nobody 20 no more. <laughs> Even though my honey for 15 years he's sitting right there shaking his motherfucking head at me, I keep that shit 100 because I know what I got going on. And half you motherfuckers not doing that. That's why a lot of men is out here doing clown ass shit, but I ain't finna go there because I'm a woman. I know my place or whatever. But you women, no, nah, y'all need to stop it. As more as you want to put yourself out there, yes. If I was a nigga, I have all you hoes. I'll on run it on your ass, too. On exactly. Y'all look at no pimp. I need a line of bitches right now. Y'all just don't know. I, 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 say, I say it all the time when people, you know, I know my worth. I know my, I know my worth. Well, do you really know your fucking worth? Because guess what? The same shit that you require from somebody else, you should be able to bring forth. And just like you said, I learned when I was in my worst relationship, mm -hmm. I was learning myself too. And the things that I dealt with back then, I couldn't imagine dealing with this shit now. And I, I say it all the time. I'm like, I'm almost 40. Mm -hmm. I'm not dealing with no bullshit. Like one day me and my homegirls had a conversation about our men coming in the house at a certain time. Oh, my man got to be there. I don't give a fuck what my husband does. <laughs> He knows what time is exactly. him. As an adult, you might leave out the house at 10 or 11 o'clock. The party may not get jumping until 12 o'clock. Bitch, I'm not finna speed home like you the fucking probation officer. The man is out having a good time. Y'all give these unrealistic expectations to adults. No, I'm a firm believer. Trying to keep up with the shit that they started at a young age trying to play house. I've been trying... Mm -hmm. Trying to play house since house been trying to play me. And when I learned that, I'm standing next to a nigga who straight me would disrespect you, but you up here like, damn, I'm fucking you. And you still like, but I want you to like me. Come on now. Let's but you know what? When we in those situations, that's why they say that love is blind. 
that shit is for real. That is that's, for real. That's for real. That's when you're in that situation, you make every excuse for why he's fucked up. You make every excuse. The moment somebody do something wrong to us, we get to evaluate it ourselves. We never evaluate this motherfucker. We always talk what we didn't do. Because that same shit he barking in our ear, guess what? We trying to figure out, am I too fat? Am I too skinny? Happy, My hair not long you enough? You happy somebody like your ass. Come on. I'm not, exactly. It's a but not, e but not even that. Not even that. We as women deal with a lot of self-esteem issues. As That's humans. As humans, because uh, but because as I've gotten older, I notice that the men that don't have self-esteem issues that can stand up with their hell head high and they can you know present and 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 be accounted for, they not whooping bitches asses. You know they're what I'm not, saying? They're not disrespecting women. They're not laying up on a woman, letting her pay all the bills. They're not running off on their kids. When I was in an abusive relationship, when I stepped outside of it, I'm like, damn, he's really insecure. Every time he go around somebody, he's yelling, cursing, calling and them bitches and everything. You didn't see it at first. I didn't see it because I was so young. Exactly. I was so young. And just like you said earlier, we were trying to find ourselves. We were trying to find ourselves because a lot of us, I know I had my baby at 19. You step out, you just jumping off the porch. Now I got to account for this other life. Like, what the fuck? Hey, Missy. <laughs> Oh, I was the same one. I couldn't even come outside, go to the park, look out the window, or yeah. shit. I, I had to be in the back. I had to be in the backyard. Remember, everybody had to come to my backyard. I couldn't, and I couldn't even heat. go to the chili to practice. Don't you remember? <laughs> it was that deep. <laughs> <laughs> it was deep. So just imagine now. You know what I'm saying? You looking back, you reflecting. You like, damn. You know. You learn from that. Some people don't. They keep going. But I'm just talking about me as a woman. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Me as a person that's growing. Me who right now could speak about my truth. Who could be mm -hmm. true to myself and say, mm -hmm. hey, this was going on. Who could look back and say, them embarrassment, them humiliations, all that stuff, that's what's molding me right now. That's yeah. what got me looking back and saying, you know what? No, I know what type of woman I want to be. I know yep. what type of woman I'm going to be, and I know what I am and not and going to allow. Hold on. That's, that's all I wanted to just Hold say. on. Hold on. I already said, y'all just talking about niggas who the lame ones. Yeah, that's what we saying. The niggas I, that's the lame. I don't Them know. The ones that's disrespecting. In, in my opinion, and, and I feel so strongly about um, the presence of a man because men are dominant in my family and these men treat us like we are royalty so I know what a good man is I know how a man is supposed to treat a woman and that was one thing that I leaned on when I was in my fucked up relationship as a child I was going through it and I didn't understand mm -hmm. but as I started maturing I'm like wait my daddy don't call me no bitch my daddy ain't never whooped my ass Every time my brothers greet me, they hug me, kiss me on the jaw. My uncles, hey, baby girl. You know, you're the only motherfucker that's disrespecting me. Mm -hmm. And I used to say it over and over again, but it wasn't resonating. Until one day, I'm like, I don't want to do this no more. You're the only person that makes me feel bad about myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I believe that we have to grow through the shit that we're going through. You that's see what I'm saying? We got we to gotta grow through it. As women, we was making ourselves easy and available. We we yep. didn't care. We we gave them access. You know what I'm we saying? We did. To us. We did. We did. So but matter but, what the situation was. But you know what? With that, we gave them access to us because we didn't know no better. Exactly. Just like you saying, you know better now. We didn't know no better. Those dudes used forms of manipulation. I know for me, that's what it was. I got with this motherfucker straight up out of before I got out of high school. You get what I'm saying? I didn't know no better. That was my first real relationship. Oh, he's taking me here. He's giving me money. He did it. Da. He was disrespecting the fuck out of me. I know. Disrespecting the fuck out of me. And I dealt with it until I got older and said, what the fuck are you doing? Let me see. I already I said, even they, what'd you say? I was going to say, you know, by you starting this silent fight, you know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, mentally, 
you know what I'm saying, be going through things. And a lot of people say, you know, they dare to support people mentally and things like that. Having mm -hmm. this platform will either help young ladies or maybe the ladies that's in our age group who may still feel this the same embarrassment, ashamed, hurtful, and things like that. Maybe mm -hmm. just keep on just listening to you and other people, right. you know, just joining in. Maybe that will help them, you know what I'm saying, break these barriers. That, because that's as I get older and keep on maturing, as I keep saying the same thing over and over again, you know, deep down, people don't care. Right. But and but just like you said, speaking of the silent fight, I chose that name because we deal with so many things silently every day of our life. You know, y'all know that my passion, my baby is domestic violence that's that's me i want to advocate for women that's going through it again because i have family members that were murdered um i was a victim of domestic violence but there's other things that we deal with every day too we need to learn to uplift each other just like you said earlier as soon as we see another woman on her shit, she's automatically the enemy you're not my enemy i want to network with everybody i don't want to compete with nobody you understand what i'm saying and mm -hmm. if we come together as just women i don't give a fuck what your race race is or what your beliefs in just if we just come together and form a sisterhood mm -hmm. i think we will get through this domestic violence thing a lot better because we always think somebody judging us and guess what nine times out of ten they are judging us but you also said some key key things too like you come from like a strong background you know with men mm -hmm. that's another thing you know what i'm saying a lot of women don't come from that a lot mm -hmm. of women don't come from just even have that whole support and by us just being women before mm -hmm. we even know what what girl and women is you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying we already mm -hmm. filled with emotions right. so we automatically want something that wasn't given to us i say yeah. it starts at home always but that's with everybody mm -hmm. it's Absolutely. just how you it just it just end up it's just it's just how you end up you know later in life just taking those lessons that you learned in your household whether they was lessons or maybe it was abuse that got you a certain way out here dealing with women men abuse drugs all that but throughout it definitely all, it definitely all starts that, at home all gonna go through something but it's up mm -hmm. to us to you know learn and grow that's it absolutely that's it, it definitely starts at home um I've said before, I used to work in a psych facility with children, and you guys wouldn't believe the shit that I saw those kids deal with. They deal with more. I've seen little girls deal with more than me, and I'm 37, and they just 13 to 14 years old. We had kids that go into crisis every time they have a family visit. Why are you not excited to see your mom or dad? These little babies that they, they, they dads and they moms that molested them and beat on them and sold their bodies and all types of shit. So Stephanie is right. It definitely begins at home. We got to start loving on our children at home. Yeah. I'm always, my kids can't, they can't encounter me without giving me a hug and a kiss. They just can't. They can't leave my presence without hugging me and saying that they love me. They can't hang up the phone even during text messaging we done with our thread it's see you later i love you or be safe i love you you have to constantly put that into your kids minds that they are loved so when they step outside this door in this fucked up world mm -hmm. they have something to lean on Please. these I... babies don't have shit to lean on and if you the person that's supposed to be their strength and you fucked up what is this world coming to i said the same thing that's what people don't understand and then especially if they have to take the beating at home first and then go out and try to fight against the world i've been through that i know that's why i wanted to just join in your your live I, I don't even know what the subject was to be honest i'm sorry we, well we yeah we was talking about should marriage license be renewed should marriage license expire what do you think to be honest, I ain't make it to that level to even look into it, to even navigate, to know about marriage license and all that. Yes, I know it's a marriage license, but I didn't know mm -hmm. it's supposed to be renewed at a certain it's, it's not. It's not supposed to be renewed. That's where the question came. Do you think that they should? Do you think that they but, should have an expiration date? Huh? What's the point of marriage then? It don't supposed to have an expiration. 
who it's came suppo- with- it, it's they, supposed to self do us part. What was the, why have those type of vows if it still come with a something that still go stipulate? All right, girl, I, I joined in on the wrong <laughs> lie. I overheard some stuff about marriage. That no, you, jo- you joined in on the right <laughs> lie because the reason why that's a good question to me is mm-hmm. because everybody don't evaluate themselves before they get married. That's something that you're strong enough to do. That's something that I was strong enough to do. But everybody think, not everybody, I'm stop saying everybody. A lot right. of people think that marriage is something easy. They just looking forward to say yes to the dress. Yes, I- so this nigga gave me the big ring. Mm-hmm. So I think that if they knew that it would be renewed, they would put a lot more effort into their relationship. So you actually can everything you saying is valid because the shit that we talking about is what people endure every day. You get what I'm saying? And but they're trapped in that marriage. They can, they, still, tra- they can still have that same manipulation and man frame without the aspiration of the marriage li- license, whatever they think it to do in that whole relationship, whether they want to work on it or not. So still they enough. They can, but divorces are not as easy to get as a marriage license. You get me? Mm-hmm. So let's just say if I would have married the dude that was abusive to me and disrespected me. I know him enough to know that he wouldn't have given me a divorce. Oh, he wouldn't sign all the goofy he shit. He wouldn't sign. That's what you're saying, the goofy so, shit. That so, exactly. So for those of us that are in successful marriages, happy marriages, we wouldn't hear of it. Mm-hmm. But for those people who get trapped in that shit, what about them? Because legally, just so you know, when you get married, he can do all types of shit to you and he doesn't have to divorce you unless you have pr- proof of abuse or infidelity. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of us go through shit silently. We don't never want to, I don't want 12 in my business. I'm not making no police report. Well, you should never rush your process in the first place because half of the time these stories come from either everybody that's 35 and under because you, you definitely set for Cynthia Bailey. I don't know what happened with that. We're going to leave that alone, celebrity. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you normally, statistically wise, it'd be the more younger couples, you hear all this shit. The stuff with, um, who is that? The Kardashian, ha- mm-hmm. uh, what's his name? Bob, Tom, wh- whatever, with the bait, with China and all that crazy stuff. Like, oh, yeah, the brother. The brother. Yeah, whatever. It's just goofy <laughs> Rob- stuff. Yeah, it's just the goofy stuff people are doing when it comes to marriage. I'm only using celebrity because they play the game with it more than the actual yeah. real people out here yeah. who's saying, oh, you know, I want this union and things like that. But a lot of the time it'd be the y- people who is young who's doing all this rather than y'all still playing these goofy games. You still, once again, not being real. Went down there to the courthouse. Yeah, I'm a marry a woo woo. Still doing the same shit. So your marriage don't mean shit no more. Now you got everybody looking like this shit don't mean nothing. No, everything's a rush. I got to solidify. I got to... The thing and that's what we... Trend. It's one thing, trend, we supposed to follow, like, keep keep society going on a certain train or things are improving every day, but trying to follow just to say, he doing it, okay, I'm doing it. She doing it, oh, I'm doing it. Oh, they doing it. No, that's... And you doing it for all the wrong reasons. And you see, and you see, and you see a lot of that. You see a lot of women who pressure their man to marry them because their friends is married. Mm -hmm. I was the last one in my family to get married. All my brothers and sisters was married before me, just an FYI. I I, wasn't rushing for shit. I don't want to sound like I'm a, like, you know, being married young, that don't mean no, nobody has good marriage or they not, you know, sacred in love. I'm just speaking for myself. Let me make that clear. Myself based on my on being a safe hoe, based on trying to get it right hoe, based on leaving in the past hoe, don't tell nobody hoe, I don't want you to see me hoe, all that shit, I'm trying to recover from myself to say, hey, you know, what makes me, I'm just being true to me, so I'm not going to say anybody else, okay? A- absolutely. Because I don't want to sound like who she thinks she, no, I'm not saying your shit is all fucked up because you got married at 30, 32, I'm not saying that at all. I, I'm just saying from my humblest opinion, I believe mm-hmm. that now that I am in my 30s and I experience a lot of things, whether I was the rah-rah or the quiet type or whatever the type, 
person, you know, that I was or whatever, I'm just not learning who Stephanie JP is right yeah. now. Yeah. So before I can even invite and say, this is a commitment right here. No, I appreciate going through what I'm going through with this person without inviting and dodging a lot of people into my space. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, girl. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank you. Bye. I just want to say that. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Yeah, just like Stephanie was saying, um, guys, I think that we should start evaluating ourselves before we get into these committed relationships. Um, I don't think that they're going to ever have a situation where we have to renew our marriage license. Um, for me, like I tell people all the time, I don't see an end to my marriage. I, I, me and my husband have never gotten to the place where we're like, fuck you, we not gonna be together. When we stepped into this situation, we was already committed. We had already said a lifetime. We had already said you was gonna be my BFF, my uh, sleepover buddy, everything for a lifetime. You know, um, th that's the first thing. You have to be committed, but know what you're committed to. You have to be committed to yourself. That person has to be committed to their self, and then you have to be committed to that relationship. People are not happy before they get into these marriages, and then when they get into the marriage, they thought that that was going to be something that they need, and it wasn't what they needed. Hold on, let me read these comments. I already said I love my woman at home and to have fun herself but not playing games. I don't like marriage because the rules of marriage is like saying you trapped to abide by rules that they set for you and you set for them. Um, I think that's only if that's what you agree to already. Um, we have our own rules in my marriage. We don't live by what society tells us that we should do. And I think that's another thing that people need to start focusing on. You need to start focusing on what works best for your relationship. But ladies, I can tell you that getting your ass whooped every day, getting disrespected, getting cheated on, that's not what's up. That's not what's up. Like I posted a question the other day that said, um... Damn, what did it say? Hold on, let me tell y'all. I just lost my train of thought, but I don't want to forget what I just posted. Because I had some good feedback on this. But um, we need to start knowing what it is that we're committed to before we get into these situations. Hold on, let me see. Because I wanted to talk about this. I don't know. I find it anyway. Um, like I was saying, um, this girl earlier said that um, she needed advice as to if she should leave her relationship because the dude is stepping out on her and he told her that they're going to get back together later. So he don't want to get no fucking divorce. I don't think that that's fair. I think that she should be able to just walk away. But anyway, um, we need to start evaluating our relationships before we get into this commitment. Marriage is a very big commitment. Um, like I said, my husband is my best friend. We made a commitment before we got into this relationship that we were going to be together. Respect above all things. I don't give a fuck what he goes out and do um, just like I already said, he loves his woman at home and to have fun herself, but not playing games. We don't play games. If I feel like my husband is upset about anything or he jealous about something, and jealousy don't always have to be he's trying to control me. Something I did could have triggered that emotion in him. That's up to me to get rid of that emotion. That's not up to me to be like, boy, you tripping. You know I ain't doing shit or yada, yada, yada. That's up to me to make him feel better about that situation. Just like on the flip side, it's up to him to make me feel good about a situation. Like I had said before, when I put up one of my posts, um, 
this dude put that if his wife had cooked that in order to piss her off he wasn't going to eat her food i'm like he said he'll go out and get some food and then leave her food sitting there i'm like no nah, that wouldn't happen in my marriage we don't do malicious shit to each other that's just weird i don't understand why people keep getting in these fucking relationships and they don't even like each other. They don't respect each other. If I'm sitting up thinking about what I could do to hurt my husband, I don't need to be with him. If that's how he's feeling about me, that he want to do something to intentionally hurt my feelings, he needs to leave me the fuck alone. Let somebody be here to keep me happy or let me stay in my happy space. I love to be happy. I don't play about my peace. Even they didn't look at my girl. I felt they picked the wrong one. Hey, Tanya. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Tati. Hey, Miriam. Drop those purple hearts when you guys are coming in. What we're talking about tonight is if marriage license should expire. Um, if anybody else want to get in and give their opinion, I feel like that marriage license should expire. Um, I was thinking about what I want to say earlier. I had forgot. Um, I know two guys who got married at a very early age. And if you ask them why did they get with their wives, why did they marry their wife? The one dude told me that he married his wife because he didn't want to die alone. And then the other guy told me that if he didn't marry his wife, he feel like she'll take his kids and run. Like, neither one of them said that they can't see their life without their kids. Because guess what? um hey kevin thanks for joining drop those purple hearts for my mom francine on tonight thank you thank you thank you um neither one of them was in a relationship for their partner you guys have to understand this because the marriage license expiring that's something totally different than what the problem really is i believe that the marriage license should have to be renewed simply because so many people are in marriages that they do not fucking respect they don't respect those vows. They don't respect anything that has to do with marriage. They don't respect the commitment. They don't respect the um, the sharing of anything or as iron sharpen iron, you know, when I'm up, you down. And when you down, I'm, you know, whatever, the yin to my yang. You know what I'm saying? We need to uplift each other. I, like I always say, before I got my husband, I was looking for a man that knew how to be strong enough and to be weak enough. Meaning when I'm strong, I need you to let me shine. And when I'm fucked up, I need for you to build me up and vice versa. People don't understand those commitments and they're just getting married because like Stephanie said, it's the trend. It's what people are doing. It's what people are doing. And I think that a lot of people will either be free or they will work harder in those relationships. People don't have anything to work toward. But just like we were, we were in that courting phase. You trying to work to keep me. You trying to work to keep me. We need to continually date. Because if we know that this shit is going to expire, then guess what? Maybe you might take it a little more serious. Some people say that they won't value it as much. I am, on the other hand, I think that a lot of people take it for granted once they, once they sign that marriage certificate. I think they take it for granted that they are married. I don't think that they, they see marriage as a blessing. It is such a blessing to have somebody that you know has got your back. Like my husband told me the other day, I mean, I told him, I said, my shopping addiction is your fault. So he's like, how? I'm like, it's your fault. It's your fault. So he's like, just tell me what you're talking about. This is what I mean. Before him, when I was a kid, I had a shopping addiction. I love to shop. If you know me, you know I love to shop. Every time I got my hand, hand on some money, I was spending that shit on whatever I wanted to spend it on. But when I became a single mom, I had to be more responsible. I always told people I was never able to be the girl that was that was able to be irresponsible. I didn't trust nobody with my foundation. I didn't trust no man with paying 50% of my living cost. So when I said that this is your fault, I mean, I was joking, but for real, that's some real shit. I could depend on you. 
I can depend on you. Now, I know that as long as he has health and strength in his body, he's going to take care of his responsibilities. So guess what? I know what those resp responsibilities are, and I know what my responsibility is. So guess what? All my free money and shit, I get to throw it in the bag if that's what I want to do. I can put whatever in my savings. I can put whatever for my bills. But I know that he's got me. I know that he's got me. And there is a peace in knowing that you chose the right fucking partner. We have to start looking for our life's partner. We just want to be with somebody because the sex is good or maybe they got a little money or something like that. That material shit, that superficial shit, I'm telling you that's going to come to an end. It's going to come to an end. Unless this man is just wealthy or, 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 this girl is just wealthy and just come for money and come for money, uh, that throwback money that don't end, you better try to find another reason to stay in that relationship besides materialistic shit. Mira said, yes, people need to renew their vows because they're not the same person they married the first time you become a new person every time. Absolutely. If we can say that, renew your vows. Renew your vows. I think it's great when you renew your vows. I think that people need to start looking over their life and evaluating those relationships. This life is so short, man. I, like when my daddy died, that was a reality for me. But when my mama died, I'm telling y'all, that shit was like a slap in the face. I never expected it coming. But that was my real reality that life is so fucking short. Here today, gone tomorrow. And once I get out of that bad relationship, I start saying, I'm not about to let you ruin whatever hour, month, year, decade, whatever the fuck I got left. I'm not being in no bad relationship. I deserve more than that. I know what I have to bring to the table. And just like we said earlier, so many people are dealing with so many fucking insecurities that they don't know how to do anything but bring the next person down. What's his fault, Shane, and my shopping addiction? It's definitely his fault. We definitely blaming him on tonight for that. Because I just done got out of hand since we've been together. I take care of my responsibility, but again, there is a lot of peace in having a great partner. And I want to tell you, if you're in a bad relationship, tomorrow will come. Tomorrow will come. You are, I, I know somebody that's in a bad relationship right now, and I keep on telling that person, as soon as you walk outside that door, the weight that's going to be lifted off of your shoulders, you don't, it, it's, it's just so liberating. It's like, it's like getting a second life. And if you know, like I know, you're not going to go through that shit again. Because why? Why? This is the question that I ask people when they getting beat up or they in these bad relationships and they know that this man is cheating or he know that this woman is cheating and he just keep on going back, getting his heart crushed. Because I don't want to keep saying that it's just men. Women are fucked up too. I know a dude that's with a fucked up woman and I pray every day that he leave this bitch. Like, why? But the man in him is constantly staying dedicated to what it is used to be or the things that he's built built up with this person the history with this person i don't get it there's nothing more valuable than missy so if you ever heard me say anything i don't love i love my husband to the end of my fucking soul next universe however deep whatever depth it can be i love him like that but i don't love him like that if it's compared to me I'm not standing no fucked up situation. Rather, the marriage license get renewed or not. Here's the thing. Either you're going to keep me happy or I'm walking the fuck out the door. But I'm doing the same exact thing for you. I'm trying everything to keep you happy. I love to make my husband smile. I love to do little cute shit for him. No matter how big, you know, no matter what it is, if it's just writing him a little note or anything like that or walking up randomly and giving him a kiss on the cheek or just giving him a hug or laying on his chest, cooking his food. I love to make him happy. And if we get into these committed relationships and we're trying to make each other happy instead of tearing each other, other down, it'll be better. It'll be better. If you with somebody and you thinking about bad shit for that person, 
not, you know, hiding money and, and stealing from that person and, and, and want to cuss them out and call them. I'm not going to be in this house, me and him, bitch, hoe, stupid motherfucker. I've been in that before. I've been in that type of relationship before. And it made me feel terrible. Contrary to what a lot of people believe, I have this very strong outer. I'm a fucking, I'm a cream puff. I'm a cream puff. I don't want nobody being mean to me. I don't want nobody being mean to me. I already have to go out into this world and I got to fight society. I already got to pray that don't nobody want to uh, kidnap me, rape me, uh, jump on me, snatch my purse, all types of shit. The worst thing that you guys can do is battle in your own fucking home. This place is supposed to be your peak. You are supposed to get your serenity when you in your household. It shouldn't be all that. You should not be, like my husband say, sleeping with the fucking enemy. And I think that back to the subject, if a lot of people had to renew those marriage license, guess what? Being Walking out on your marriage wouldn't be the excuse for you accepting the stupid shit that you accept. Hey, brother, Kadeem said those who don't understand renewing a marriage license are complacent and they don't want to work for what they have. Absolutely, Kadeem. I said if they have to renew their marriage license, I think that they will work harder for it. They would not be except, you know, taking these people for granted. They would know that, okay, in 12 months, I'm gonna have to put up or shut up at the end of the day. You're not gonna be able to say, oh, that's my wife or that's my husband. They got to do. I know people that say that they got married because they knew that at the end of the day that they was the spouse and they will get everything that they wanted financially. If you only marry somebody for financial gain, you fucked up anyway. You fucked up anyway. And you had to know that you signed up for the bullshit. You had, you had to know that because your intentions weren't good anyway. Kadeem said, if you're doing your thing, you wouldn't have to worry about it. Absolutely. People only have problems when they have insecurities about where they're lacking. If you know, I don't, I don't worry about my husband stepping out on me, not because I'm, I'm an airhead or I think I'm better than the next woman. I know what it is that I bring to the table. And like I've told y'all time and time again, those that I talk about my relationship to, now I'm telling y'all, a bitch is going to have to step hard to take my place because I'm a hard fucking act to follow. Believe that. Believe that. Because I don't only have him physically, I have him mentally. I have him emotionally. I got him covered. So baby, if you could come in and you could take him, he was yours anyway. That's another thing that I already know. I'm not fighting and combating no bitch for no relationship because guess what? We always want to fight the other person. How much does that person value their relationship? If my man step out on my marriage, then guess what? That's on him. I can't expect nobody else to respect my marriage if that man don't respect my marriage. He's a part of this union. People respect what you respect. That's why when people be on my Facebook page, yeah, it's random motherfuckers. But like I have to tell this one dude on my post, if y'all go read, he tell my baby, what, what? I'm like, man, you're rude. You're disrespectful. Respect my fucking husband. And I get that you don't care. It's not personal to you, but I care. And I'm not going to allow any form of disrespect to my man. I don't give a fuck if it's on social media or anything else. We don't have those issues in my home. And a lot of things we'll laugh and ignore, but when it gets too blatant and disrespectful, I'm going to address it. I have to delete so much stuff off my page, not because it's going to cause a, a, a problem in my house, it's because somebody is disrespecting my man and I've seen it. I'm aware of it. So it's my job to protect his emotions. It's my job to protect my relationship. So I'm going to try to get that shit off of there as fast as I can. And again, it's not because he's going to accuse me. It's just a respect that I have for my man. Me, my man, Destiny said, respect me, my man, and yourself, period. Absolutely. And then what would make me think that you're going to respect me if I'm stepping out on my marriage? I'm going to step out of my marriage with you and you're supposed to give me the utmost respect. We're not the exception to the rule. 
we're not the exception to the rule. Just the way you get them, my mama say, just the way you get them is just the way your ass going to lose them. So you think you laid up uh, uh, cheating with my man and thinking it's funny while he lying to me about being with you and then you think you want to wife him? What makes you think you want to wife him? I say I got a man and they say ain't got nothing to do with me. I be like that. Absolutely. Because guess what? Forget my man. I'm disrespecting myself. I'm disrespecting myself by allowing you to feel like, to feel comfortable enough to come at me in that manner. If you know me, you know I got a husband. I got his ass plastered all over everything. All over my phone case, all over my arm. I got his name tattooed on me three, four times. I represent my man. And again, it's not because I have to. I'm not getting my ass whooped. He's not intimidating me in no form of fashion. That's one reason why I love my relationship because I'm allowed to be with, be, be with him and be by my, be myself knowing that he's mine. I don't have a doubt in my relationship. Now, if, if something happens and he flipped the script on me, cause that, that can happen too. People could wake up and they can be like, fuck this, I don't want it. Maybe I, he got tempted. I just know that you made your choice. I already said, I've never let a female make my mane look goofy. You don't, you don't have to let a, exactly. By what you respect about your woman, that's what other people is going to respect. When y'all, people out there saying, he don't play about me. He don't play about me or she don't play about me. Y'all going home and y'all disrespecting each other. He don't play about me. I'm telling you, he ain't finna let nobody else play with me. He ain't finna let nobody else disrespect me. But more importantly, he's not about to disrespect me. I'm not about to disrespect him. Again, back to the topic, if these marriage licenses had to be renewed, maybe somebody will put forth more effort in their relationship. Maybe they will feel like this man or this woman has the ability to walk away. Again, I think that that is a great thing. I think that we should be able to say if we want to be in this relationship or not. And it should be an ongoing, lifelong process. If it only took $35 to get this license, okay, charge $15 to renew it. What the fuck are we afraid of? That's my question. If you feel like you in your relationship and y'all want to be together for the rest of your life, then you have no problem going to pay that money to renew your license. You don't have no problem renewing your driver's license. Why is marriage license any different if you know that you want to be there wholeheartedly? It's, it's kind of contradictory. You know you want your business for however long you want your business. You renew those licenses. Like every year, I'm a tax preparer. Every year, we have to renew our, um, I think it's the P10. It's our privileges to, uh, to file taxes for people. Every year, I know that I want to continue being a tax preparer. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to renew my fucking license. And the moment that I don't want to be a tax preparer, guess what? I'm going to ignore the emails. I'm not going to fill out nothing. I don't want to do it no more. So if you know that you want to be with your husband or your wife for the rest of your life, I don't see what the problem is being, being made to renew your license. People could say it, it's about the money. You know, the, 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 the state just want to get some money or it's stupid. But I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea. A lot of people are trapped in situations that they really don't want to be in. And I think people should be able to be free. I see people, I watch all these like crazy ass shows all the time um, on ID Discovery. And you see so many people that want to be with somebody else and they put a hit out on their spouse. I didn't want to, I knew she wouldn't divorce me. Like, but what if her marriage license had expired and he could have just walked away freely? Now she'll still be with her family and moving on to have a better life with somebody who wants to be with her. It's so fucking weird that people want to be with somebody who don't want to be with them. How does that make you feel? You just want to be, How? I don't want to be with nobody who don't want me to touch them and, and disrespecting me and all types of clowning. You let me go and be free. 
Hold on. Because I'll be running my mouth. Already said they won't help in my opinion, but I think we should have expiration dates on it for those who think like you and want pizza this week and then pizza loses taste and want burgers next week, which is because they have the option to. Yeah, a lot of people, you might wake up today again, like me and Stephanie was just saying, I was a different, I was a different girl than I am a woman. The things that I accepted as a young girl, as a young adult woman growing up trying to find myself, I would never accept that shit. I would never accept that. But what? It is so empowering to know that you have the freedom to walk away. When I found out that I have the option to just dismiss people out of my life, I don't have to deal with that stress for the rest of my life, that I got to a different place of peace. Hold on. Kadeem said having it as an option for what? I'm not sure. I've been running my mouth. What are you talking about? Having an option to... I think you were talking about what already said. They won't help in my opinion, but I think we should have expiration dates for those who think like you want pizza just because they have the option to. Um, I think he was saying that people have the option to just do what they want to do. They have the option to do what they want to do, so he felt like they should have the expiration date. Exactly. I know people that get married, like the lady earlier this week when I posted that, she said her husband told her that he didn't, he wasn't getting divorced because he felt like they're going to come back later on in life. And she knows for a fact that he's out. I don't have to release you. I don't have to release you. I know when my dad uh, was married, his ex-wife, she sent him the marriage papers a couple times. And he just was an asshole and didn't sign them. He didn't care nothing about being with her. He knew that he had that power. And everybody be saying when they get married again, not everybody, because I, I like to say everybody, excuse me. Some people be saying that they know that if the spouse comes into some type of big uh, money thing, that they're going to benefit from that. So you going to live the rest of your life in hopes this motherfucker gets the money? Like, that's so stupid. Y'all signing up for a lifetime of bullshit. I already said I wanted a female who was lame at first. Now I love females who treat themselves like gatekeepers. Absolutely. How could you be with somebody who don't respect they self? How do you be with somebody who don't love they self? Now, you have some situations, because I don't like to say stuff that's like set in stone. You have some situations where people have been broken down so much that they don't really know how to love, but they really, really want to love. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I told my husband before we was talking, you could not know anything about anything. You know, whatever the situation is, a lot of people like to use, well, I didn't know, or I wasn't raised like this, or I never seen nobody do this. If every situation you get into, you lead with love, lead with love and have great intent for the situation, whether it's a relationship, an intimate relationship, a marriage, a, a business partnership, or just hell, a friendship, a co-workership, whatever. If you have good intentions for that person, or anybody involved in that situation, I can nine times out of 10 guarantee that it's gonna turn out all right. It's gonna turn out all right. We talk to our homeboys about the fucked up shit we do, or our homegirls about the fucked up shit we do. Find people out here that you see that has a successful relationship, or they're happy in what it is that they're doing, and ask them what it is that they do. Start watching some of these corny ass movies, because that was my, I like, I love the notebook. I love, I love the notebook. I love how they loved on each other, how they respected each other. I used to see those little fairy tale things, uh, uh, love stories, fairy tales and everything. And that's what I wanted. If you see a lot of my posts that I put about my husband, I say my fairy tale because I knew that I wanted to be that girl when I did find my life's partner. I wanted to be soft. I wanted to get butterflies when I see him. I wanted to be, I still, when me and my husband go out, I still put thought into what the fuck I put on. 
I remember one time I was going to help my husband. My cousin was like, that is so dope that you still care about how you look when you go with him. Yes, we're talking about a lifetime. I'm still nervous when I do stuff with him after all this time. And it's not because you got some people that's nervous because the person makes them feel like shit. It's because he makes me feel so good. So I want to be the best me for him. I already said, I'll put it like this. I made her love herself, then I made her hate me because I honestly wanted to love again. I think it's the Scorpio in me. I don't understand. I don't understand what that means. You made her love herself, then you made her hate you. How did you make her hate you? I don't I don't really understand what that is. What you're saying about that. Um I say that about my relationship when I was in a bad relationship. Um again, and it could be because I came from so much love, and no matter what the situation. I was loved. My parents loved on me. People surrounding me, they loved on me. So when when he was being mean to me, I just kept leaning on the love that I came from, and it just made me love myself even more. So if he talked about my weight and all type of shit like that, guess what? I'd go work out. But then when I started working out, I was working out to make myself feel better. I wasn't working out to gain his approval. As a matter of fact, I told somebody every time I got my heart broke when I was younger, I went and did something to better myself. I want some I wanted to better myself because one day it dawned on me the things that you require, you need to be. You need to be with the what it is that you require. I already said I would do that shit that will make a female run. Uh, yeah. Talk about it when you talk about it. A lot of stuff, a lot of people will do things that make their partner run. Again, I'm not just gonna say men. Um, women do that shit too. I'm just as a woman, I feel so strongly about women taking disrespect. And it's again because how strong I've always watched men in my life be and how they treated us. It's just fucked up when you see a man disrespecting a woman. That's why I think I would have thought that expiration date would have worked in. Absolutely, already. If you were able to have that expiration date, like you said, you found out that you're not happy without your wife, then guess what? You wouldn't have to go through no bullshit. I don't know if you go through bullshit, but, you know, y'all could have just parted your ways and it didn't have to be ugly. We tried it. It didn't work. It's simple as that. But... I'm not going to keep on talking about this subject. I'm going to get out of here. Um, but I do want you guys to tune in every Sunday at 9 p.m. Central to The Silent Fight. Um, please, guys, share, share, share my page. Please share my page. Um, I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers. So when you guys are sharing, please invite people to follow my page. Um, I got something real big I'm working on. I said it before. I want to create a success Sunday is what I'm going to call it. And for all of my entrepreneurs out there on a particular Sunday every month, and we're going to keep doing it because you guys know that I'm an entrepreneur to my core. I want you guys to call in and advertise yourself. Nobody can advertise you like you. So get ready for that success Sunday. It's coming up. I don't know if I'm going to either do it the last month or the, excuse me, the last Sunday or the third Sunday of the month, but it is definitely coming up. I want this thing to be huge. Just like Stephanie said, I want to have a place where we could come and talk our shit and nobody is judging us. Anybody is welcome to join on my podcast. For you guys who have been inboxing me um, subject titles and um, different discussion topics that you guys want to talk about, I'm going to get back to you guys. I have to... I found out I realized today that I need to start writing my shit down because this is going a lot faster than what I thought it was gonna go not mine I knew it was gonna go just the way it's going so let me not make excuses for my bullshit I'm gonna start writing it down when I start making these agreements so that we guys can so that we can talk about stuff because I don't want to leave anybody out B Studio time photo film sorry for the promo no babe when you guys are on here already 
promote, promote, promote. That's what we're here for. I'm here trying to be great, and I want you guys to be equally as great. So anytime you guys want to come on my show, like I said, I'm going to do Success Sunday or any Sunday when you guys want to drop your stuff, drop it, drop it. People are definitely watching. Like I told the young man one week when he was on here, I got at least 5,000 people watching. With that 5,000 people, you're you damn near guaranteed to get at least one yes. And all it takes is one yes in order for you to be great. That's why I'm here. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. So I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Same time. I don't know what place, but it'll be 9 p.m. Central. Bye.